The icebreaker is an opportunity to break the ice. I have the pleasure today of not only breaking the ice with many of you, but also thawing the ice with some of you who I haven't had the pleasure of keeping up with over the last three years. Toastmasters and guests, I was born the first child of Ravi and Sarita, and my brother Arjun came seven years later. And uh, unless he tries poisoning me or stealing my girlfriend, will probably finish up as my favorite person in the world. Uh, my parents were young physiotherapists working in uh, Bombay, and that's where I too took my first steps. We moved to Kuwait when I was five years old, and a large part of who I am today comes from my experiences living up there. The Indian community in Kuwait is extremely tightly knit, and it's a very, very cozy atmosphere out there. For some reason, NRI Indians tend to pray a lot more than Indians in India. I, I don't know why that is. But weekly prayer meetings, pujas, and festivals were a really common affair out there, and, and my strong religious and uh, beliefs and beliefs in God come from my life living out there. Another thing that tends to happen when you're living in the Gulf is that you tend to bond more with your family and friends because it's so important to stick together in a foreign country which is repressive. And even to this day, some of my best friends are those that I made uh, years ago in Kuwait. We moved back to India when I was 14 years old and uh, though I was extremely sad to be leaving my friends back there, I was glad because 14 is an interesting point in a young man's life, and I was really happy to be going to a co-ed school after all those years. Uh, I completed my schooling and went on to pursue my uh, bachelor's in commerce, which was uh, more fun than work. And uh, at the end of it, I wasn't exactly sure where I was going in life. And uh, I decided to take a break to think, think about uh, what I wanted to do. And uh, fortunately, my parents were kind enough and support enough to, uh, to allow me to continue staying in the house. I dabbled in the theater for a while, I studied French, and I worked with various NGOs during that period. NGOs that deal with environmental issues, public policy, democracy, animal rights, poverty, education. I, I even taught uh, at a school called Parikrama for uh, underprivileged slum children. And uh, my experiences there gave me much broader perspective on uh, the world as I knew it up until that time. And I would have loved to continue doing that forever. But uh, unfortunately, money is what drives the world. And uh, with that in mind, I have to continue pursuing my studies <coughs> as, uh, as a child of child. And after three years of uh, overworking and underpaying, I qualified uh, as a child accountant uh, last year. I had a I started this job with, uh, with an organization called Deloitte, which is one of the best consulting firms in the world. I had a great boss and shared a fantastic camaraderie with all of my colleagues. But, but somehow, at the end of the day, I was unhappy. I was not satisfied with what I was doing. And uh, it seemed like I was living life just waiting for weekends and uh, dreading getting up on Monday mornings. So uh, February of this year, I decided to quit and move on to other things. And uh, after a while, and a little bit of thought, I decided to dip my feet uh, into agriculture. Uh, it, was, it was a world away from what I've been doing so far, but it's probably the best decision I've ever taken so far. I, I'm now learning to manage our uh, estates in Basur, and uh, it's, it's a fabulous feeling waking up to a beautiful sunrise with all the shades of blue and yellow and orange smelling the beautiful scents of lemons and mangoes, and <coughs> making a food out of vegetables and fruits that you actually had a hand in growing yourself. Um, okay. Now that I've actually moved on to something else, I fortunately share a more intimate relationship with this boss and a little more influence with him. Coincidentally, he happens to be my dad. And uh, I now have, uh, I have the opportunity of doing a few things that I haven't been able to do all these years. So I recently started driving, uh, I started playing golf again, and uh, and uh, scuba diving, which is something I've put on hold for quite a while. And uh, 
it feels good to actually have a life back all over again. My philosophy in life has been pretty simple and I think Mark Twain aptly sums it up. Uh, when he says, uh, don't take life too seriously, we all come out of it dead anyway.